Hey guys, welcome to SystemControlTech.com. I wanted to take just a few minutes to give a brief overview of the Metasys Extended Architecture software. Here we are logged into our panel and we of course uh, one of the things that you will see is if you have any alarms on the system they will uh, pop up which you can turn this off very easily simply by going to the view and disabling the alarm pop-up. The Metasys Extended Architecture is a very powerful tool in your building automation system. It is a very effective tool in any type of an energy management program and there are a lot of similar software packages out there. Uh, there is uh, Tritium, there is uh, just various different uh, softwares out there that do uh, very similar uh, as what Metasys does. I just want to give you a brief overview of the Metasys extended architecture. Depending on your password abilities, depending on whether or not you have administrator access or whether or not you are limited to viewing only a specific group of buildings, your login screen may be a little different. Here we are logged into our system and I wanted to talk about a little bit over on this side starting out we have our network map this lists all of the devices on our system you can see that we have quite a few NAEs and NCEs as well each of these devices communicate over the Ethernet with the ADX the ADX is a server that stores uh, backups of each of these devices and it allows us to interface with them uh, remotely which you can interface with many of these devices uh, depending on how your network is set up you can directly interface with each of them however the going through the ADX it gives us a much easier access point um, this is what is known as the all items tab inside this portion uh, we have a lot of programming we have a lot of uh, just everything that is on the system and it can make it a little bit difficult to navigate if you're trying to locate a specific room uh, that is where the ADX can be real useful uh, using the ADX we can set up user views which we have um, multiple set up for our facility and a user view is one way of organizing how you can view your organization's facilities within a user view here I can organize my air handlers I can group them I can group my VAVs by floor there's just a lot of cleanup that we can do to access only specific things within the system here we have a tab that has just the dorms on our facility we can access uh, components and systems that are only related to the dorms we can go to the uh, view only access where we will then only see the graphics which they're very customizable you can do virtually anything that you would like with uh, the user view it, it's just unlimited virtually unlimited and uh, it really depends on what makes it easy for you to use the right hand panel is our display panel which whenever we access any of our system components either by double clicking is a common way or simply grabbing and dragging over into the view window to view our item in this case it is an air handler we can see a lot of things related to the air handler we can see that the supply fan is 
currently running that we do have a command and status the status of our filters uh, our alarms our high pressure alarm our low pressure or our low uh, free stat safety we can see the discharge temperature of the cold deck as well as the hot deck our pressures within the two uh, sets of ductwork and we can see a lot of things related to the system once again all of this is very customizable in the menu section we have a lot of different features as well depending on your access you can go in and print this if we wanted to send this screen to a printer we could simply go into print pre preview and set it up to look as we would like it to before we printed it or we can just print whatever we would like and that is uh, highlighted if you were to highlight the left hand panel if you see the uh, color change between the two if I was to highlight this panel and go to print it would actually print everything that is under this panel but if I was to highlight over here it would print everything under this panel there's also edits you can delete items there's a lot of different things here trend view extended labels which I have on mine turned on by default you can do panel layout where you can uh, customize your display just a bit like if you wanted we have one air handler here I can grab another one and pull it down here and actually look at information from both of these units simultaneously so that's another nice feature you can uh, actually pull up multiple panels in uh, several different configurations you can uh, grab a room just at random just to give you an idea of some of the things you can do it's a very very powerful tool and uh, this is just a brief overview of some of the ways some of the features of extended architecture these are just basic uh, elements involved in the Metasys extended architecture if we were going to create items within our system this is all our uh, tools for inserting objects control systems folders so as you can see, this is a very powerful tool. If you have the ability to access your individual devices through your various tools such as HVAC Pro or a GX9100 or even CCT, from this you can go in and actually modify the programming within the individual air handler controllers or VAVs, that sort of thing. You can set up uh, custom reports you can go in and do alarm reports you can do global searches by selecting a folder or group of items and search for a particular item such as the zone temperature for an entire floor or even an entire building yeah, there's just a very very wide range of uses for this software to command a particular item within the software what you will need to do is simply pull that item into your user view as we here have a room if I wanted to occupy this room I can simply right click select my command function and I can turn the room into occupied or standby I can override it into occupy or unoccupy. Uh, of course I can release the override if I were to put an override on this or the previous command that I put on. There are just a lot of features. What I would do here is just select the desired set point or state for this controller and then simply hit send and it would bring the device online. If I wanted to change a zone temp set point here we currently have this room set at 70 degrees. I can simply go in here, command it, and either adjust the temperature set point or I can put it in as an override. And when I enter my value and hit send, you can see that the value changes to the new set point. I can then simply go in, right click, command, and then release the override that I put on and the set point 
in most cases will go back to its original setting. It may take it a few moments, but in general it will go back to its original setting. This tool is very powerful. It is only one element in an energy management system. It is a very good tool in your building automation. It can be used to control lighting. It can be used to control air handlers, VAVs. There's a whole list of things that can be done with this software. This is just a brief introduction. There are going to be more videos coming that get further into the mechanics of this software. Get down into the uh, programming on some features. If you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also visit my blog at SystemControlTech.com.